the Bible says, let us move on to perfection and come from amongst the elementary stages. I just want to share a quick word, another level of maturity. You know, when you start maturing, you start trusting in the Lord with all your heart, leaning out to your own understanding. Like the Bible says, also seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness will be added unto you. Because maturity is more of a mental thing and a spiritual thing. You know, once you start mentally grasping how life is and should be, you start progressing spiritually because now you recognize how you was wrong in areas where you thought you was all right. And then once you start progressing spiritually, you start progressing naturally and financially. You know, that's when people start looking like, oh, he's really in the things of God. You know, it's funny because how people, you know, they they think that when people have a financial gain or nice stuff, they're godly. No, that don't mean nothing. If you got a good job, you know what I mean? You, you ought to have nice stuff. You know what I mean? But if you start progressing spiritually, that's when you on a whole nother level of maturity because you're not trying to connect with nobody. Like, you know, I used to all the time trying to, oh man, I, I should connect with them, you know, and help them, you know, with and build their men up and stuff like that. No, a lot of times God don't want you involved with a lot of um, just things labeled as ministry <laughs> or Christian. You know, he wants you to stay in that realm of the kingdom. You know, when you have a kingdom mindset, you do kingdom things. So God don't really want no kingdom people just connected with anybody. And so once you start maturing on another level, you start understanding these things. And that's when you get a whole nother level of understanding. Like the Bible says, with, and all you'll get and get an understanding. So you start understanding what's inside of the understanding, what's within that to understand. So therefore you get a greater understanding on how you should operate. And when you start getting that greater understanding, you start recognizing how much more valuable you are to life and Christ when you just be quiet and allow God to move you. You know, like on chessboard, you know, God knows your his next move is your best move. So that's why when you start uh, maturing on another level, you just learn how to sit still. And just like chess players, you know, they always doing that right there because they thinking. Or they're listening for revelation and insight and intel on what to do next. You know, that's what you call maturity, you know, because it's like when you start maturing, it's like you start. Uh, what's that song? The Eye of the Tiger. Rising up out from the streets or whatever he said, you know, because you recognize that you're being elevated and moving on beyond where you was. When you start maturing, because when you start maturing, people really start looking at you side eye. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder what he up to, you know, because you're not broadcasting your moves and you're not posting all your personal business. And you just putting you just doing ministry, posting a video and sitting down like Jesus did when he um, read the scrolls of Isaiah. They said he read the word of God and sat down. So when you start maturing, that's what you do. And like I said, you're not trying to connect with everybody because God going to connect you who he wants to connect you with, too. And another thing, too, when you start maturing on another level, you stop asking for stuff. You know, you stop asking, for, oh, Lord, uh, I want a better job. And you know what I mean? I, I'm ready to get married and stuff like that. And and that's another thing, too. We have to recognize, like God said in uh, the, I mean, in the Bible, it says in Ecclesiastic, it says and every time there's a season. Or every season there's a time or however it goes, you know, because God already has an ordained time for you to meet that person and to come together and get married. So a lot of times when you start maturing, you recognize you wasting a bunch of unnecessary prayers, praying for stuff that all you got to do is just play your position and sit back and wait and work on yourself and continue to mature spiritually. That's when everything else going to be added unto you. And so that's what maturity is just broke down as um, like the Bible says, peace be still and know that I am God and wait on the Lord and be a good courage. Simple as that. You know, because when you wait, it's another level of solidarity that you get. You know what I mean? Because like they say, uh, like skyscrapers, how they're able to withstand the wind and all that stuff. Because the deeper the root in the ground, the higher you can build the, um, the building. And so that's how you can recognize stable people you know, by the level of maturity that they operate in, you know, because real mature folks, like I said, like that old song said, dang, it feels good to be a gangster. 
Real gangsters don't talk much. And mature, because they mature and they recognize, like, look, I done been out here in these streets and I recognize how the game goes. And so, therefore, I'm not going to put myself in harm's way. So I'm almost constantly thinking of uh, preventive maintenance. So, therefore, I won't be put in the mix of some unnecessary foolishness that don't even involve me if I think about situations before I get in them, if I even go that route. So with that being said, I don't got nothing else to say. Do all you can to achieve another level of maturity. Peace.